Hello, my name is Pendleton. Whoa! Rebecca Sugar. And you're Steino. Tom Herpick. Andy, you're leaning back Dude, you too much. You might have to get up on All right. that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just JK. I'm slumping. Is there anything? Is there anything in the intro that that you noodled? Like a like a hmm. frame at a time. You see go by every time. I'm trying to think about it because I boarded it. And it came back really nice. Um, I don't know. We're getting bit up by something. Uh, it was exactly it was exactly how I wanted it to be. <laughs> uh, this is this is also based on me. We were talking about me living in North Carolina before before we started recording, and this was also based on my time there. So when I would go to swimming holes all the time, my friend Isaac was like a, a, a I need your help. expert. He knew all the spots. And sometimes you'd go to one, you'd like hear about one, and you'd have to go try to find it. And then you'd either not be able to find it, or you'd find it, and it was crummy. <laughs> and uh, that's what happened here. Right on. You good now? Uh, Cole Sanchez just ha- had to had to take off, but I remember him saying that he thought this episode was great. Oh wow! Thanks, Cole. Doesn't have an official. Was that future Cole or? That's uh, that's pen, Cole from the past. Cole. Who knows what okay. he thinks now? Yeah. This is the village elder. He probably still thinks it's great. Uh, here's Jonathan Katz as the uh, elder, with his awful sauce uh, activated oh, there. Man. I'm such a big fan of of John Katz. Um, you know, I guess I should have warned you. Ah, uh, man. I was so <laughs> excited to talk to him and to have him do a voice and to, uh, to plus it up with his own um, way of saying things. Uh, where's? Do you remember the, where the line is uh, that he imp- improvised? Uh, it's right around here. Yeah. Fresh out the where he... <laughs> He did. He impersonates his own. Yeah, I had a joke that I wrote that I really liked, and he did an ad lib during that time, <laughs> and the ad lib was super funny. And Penn kept in the ad lib, and uh, I think this I, is it right here. Yeah, I was mildly resentful, but I respect the the decision was the the correct decision. But I uh, my 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 joke that I liked is gone forever. Mommy, you sound exactly like me. Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, Jonathan Katz. Jonathan Katz. <laughs> um, this is uh, me and Skyler. I think we had one more board after this. This was the second to last. As uh, they don't know what they're in for. Uh, <laughs> that's what that means. You're talking to the right couple of guys. Yeah, man. Me and Jake will bust this mega frog up. Hmm. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, thanks, man. Hmm. These lollipops didn't serve almost any function in the story, really. <laughs> I remember, I remember thinking that, and then hmm. still keeping them in there. Yeah, but it's hard to make out. Could just be some footprints. I love these. Uh, I was looking at that, the color of that liquid that they squirt out, and thinking about Nick Jennings and the funny choices he makes sometimes for colors. And how, how just silly it is, and how that can be a joke in and of itself, just sort of the color of something. Oh, there's something coming up here where uh, they're climbing over that log, and they say the thing about how the mega frog smells like a new thing of CDRs. Right here, and during the pitch, I was like, "Well, I don't even know why I read that out loud because I know it's gonna get cut." Yeah, but subtler. Mm-hmm. Just as I suspected. Sweet. These will take us right to him. <laughs> Come on, Jake. <laughs> sometimes, I don't know, if there's any point to this story, it's that sometimes you can tell instantly, like, what's going to get cut. Stuff is just, like... Oh, yeah. Glaringly redundant and, or, and doesn't contribute to the, the plot. But uh, if you really try hard, you can keep it in there. Whoa. Y'all sort of ended up, like, figuring out tricks for how to how to keep stuff, didn't you? You figured out, like, how to manipulate my opinion on things at some, sometimes. <laughs> did, did I? I'm not sure. Sometimes, I mean, if you really like a joke, you can, like, weld it or, like, wet it to stuff that's plot necessary. This is like storyboarding 101 or like TV storyboarding 101. If you want, you know, stuff has to be necessary or it's going to get cut because it's only 10 minutes long. 
Dang, it's all misty. Finn touched that butt, that butt cheek on that tree a second ago. <laughs> I just wanted to point out again, I said this earlier on another commentary, that just like touching something just slightly is, is uh, my, my gut instinct for how to make something better than it was before. Like to make the best of things is to just touch stuff lightly. I got a habit while I walk around. I walk, I walk to work a lot and I like to just reach out and touch bushes and poles and stuff. I feel like uh, it connects me to my environment in some kind of subtle way. Thinking about it more, I feel like I picked that up from Sonvilai, who's who draws so many... Um, he draws it all the time, just people touching their own cheeks. Yeah, gentle stuff. Yeah. Friction. Here, uh, Skylar got really into this <laughs> fire-making sequence. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's yeah. really cute, man. Every little detail. It's cute, funny, and charming. <laughs> this, yeah, this is like a precursor. This is like, a, uh, this is the kind of stuff that Skylar really liked to do. <laughs> and then, now, and then he got his own show, and he can do this all the time. It's the Mega Frog. Quick. Silly childlike stuff. Jake, look. He's just sitting there. Hmm. What's he doing out there? I don't know, but let's pound him while he's vulnerable. Okay. Wabba wabba wabba. Wabba wah. Oh, maybe I should have some more of that uh, incredible coffee that blew my brains out yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> um, it gave me, it was like a crazy uh, crash. I like, woke up in the middle of the night all messed up from that coffee. It was so strong. I think that little butt guy on Jake's hand a second ago was my contribution this episode. Jake shape-shifting his hand into a small man with a butt. I never understood why Jake falls over there, because the thing doesn't hit him. Too intense. Too intense. What? Jake, wake up! Look! Ow, my wabba wah! Wabba 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 wah. Wabba wam wam! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's a snail. Oh. <laughs> That's like the de the depths, the worst Good commentary. Catch. <laughs> Good catch. Yeah. Eagle eye. I guess it's all uphill from here because I thought the, it too. The worst. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. All time. Yeah. Oh, jeez, Louise. Uh, Do we know why uh, Finn wasn't able to light a fire with his hands in this episode, but was in uh, what's that banana man one? Uh, the New Frontier. New Frontier. He's a goofball. Mm -hmm. He's forgot about He's it. Forgot about it. Okay. I think it's too wet. Oh, there you go. That's a good reason. To me, also, well, that makes total sense. To me, it also would make total sense if, if you he forgot, forgot about yeah. it. it. Within the New Frontier, it seemed that it wasn't something he'd ever done before, and Jake didn't know about it. It was just a weird thing <laughs> that happened. I remember when I, <laughs> I did I did that and I made that choice. I didn't think very too hard about it. I was just like, "Yep, we gotta have to do this now." Then just makes a fire with his hands, and then <laughs> Nate said, "You're the only person who could make that happen," or something. Uh, agreed. And I was like, "Ha ha ha!" And I was just like, I'm just doing it because it was funny and it solved a problem. That's just sort of what it comes down to. There's something I like about unexplained stuff that doesn't really even go like remarked upon because it's more it's like real life like yeah. real life has kind of mysteries and stuff not everyone understands and if we understood every single thing that happened on screen in every episode of Adventure Time it wouldn't feel real it would feel too cartoony it's all up and down too simple base to home we've always managed you there's you gotta leave room for mystery yeah but it's hard to make out i'm sure this is one of my uh my like artistic yeah, but it's hard to make out. credos or something it's hard to make out let the mystery be that's it jake wait oh, sick dude huh i know still got that mud mustache yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is the the sequence where Skylar did multiple uh, entire acts, I think, like in, with poses and different ideas. Uh, yeah, that used to be super intense. It right? was pretty elaborate. And there wasn't enough time, I guess, or maybe it was just too elaborate to, to animate. I don't remember. I can't remember either. 
Might have been too much stuff. Made it make it faster. Although this was pretty elaborate too, and this this is pretty cool. This. Did too many special poses for this. Just enough. Probably didn't need to do. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looking back on I'll it. I'll take your word for it. Pretty cool. Prince Huge. I wonder. I wonder if there's any other. Uh, Members of the Kingdom of Huge. Who knows? We'll never know. <laughs> anyway, it's gross how that crown comes up out of his head. Ah, this is red. I'm hot again. Do you not want to talk about it? Little dudes. The crown? Really? No, the. Oh, the. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I don't know. I thought you made like a, a huff noise, and I was like, oh, maybe I should stop. I was huffing because you were dancing around it. Oh, I, was, I was dancing around it. Because it's like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. If you keep this up till the end of the episode, just, we, we, we won't have to talk about it. I was teasing a little, but you don't want to, I didn't want to tease too hard. Right, right. It stops being a tease anymore. Don't give the milk when the cow is free. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's how that goes. Free cows. No, the cow free is cows. free, Rebecca. <laughs> the cow is free. What do you mean? You don't like cows, Rebecca? You don't want a free cow? Free but you cow can't give the milk. Cow. Cause the milk you have to pay for that. <laughs> you have to pay for no, milk. Two thirty nine a gallon. So you can so you get the cow for free, but then you have to pay for like regular installments to get milk out of your own cow. Milk right. isn't well, free. You lease it up. You, you crazy? It's like I think that's how video games are gonna work in the future. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? The cow vendor. 